All right, we're going to apply UV editing and wood texture, so very similar to the previous lesson, uh, applying normal map and roughness map. Okay, so we will um, first go to our UV editing here, and so we can show you, I can show you how the uh, box is unwrapped. Okay, so first thing is, uh, let me turn on my screencast so you can see all the tools that I'm using and keyboard shortcut. All right, so let's uh, deform this one real quick. I'm going to go to object mode and just kind of make it like a plank of wood or some sort of non cube. Okay, after I selected the object here or transform it, sorry, I'm going to go apply and scale or all transform just so that it kind of resets. So, what we can do with this one is if I press tab to go to edit mode. Select everything, press A just so that it makes sure that everything is selected. I'm going to press U and then unwrap it. Okay, so you can see here it's still kind of looking like a cube. Okay, and what we want is UV, uh, smart UV, and give it an island margin. So very similar to the uh, serial box project. And once I click that, you can see now the dimension for the object is laid out as if. I mean, I could print this and then cut it off and uh, do like a paper craft and it would be this, right? So I'm going to go to uh, face mode here. So that one represents that. That one represents that. The side, top, so on and so forth. Okay. So our UV is done. Now we can go to shading. Okay. I'm going to go to look dev, which is the third one right here. So we can show you the all the stuff we need to do there. Okay, and then let's apply the uh, the wood texture that I downloaded. So there we go. So I'm going to go here and get this is the color map. So same thing as before, very similar to the brick. Let's apply it, color to base color. All right, there it is. And uh, kind of weird looking. It's a uh, because it added it here as if it's different kind of planks of wood. But yeah, the lesson here is just for normal map, not to land the photo exactly where it's supposed to be okay but it's being applied uh, correctly there's no stretching okay next is our uh, our rough map uh, yeah, I want to make sure here I'm going to go vertically so I can really grab that with roughness map. so that's the one actually I'm going to grab it right here okay put this back to uh, thumbnail so we can see it so that's a roughness map uh, we got to change this to non-color, okay? And we need uh, a middleman right here, so I can first apply it to roughness right there. You'll see that uh, there's no effect to it, or it's too evenly spaced out. So you can see when you plug a texture or an image, <coughs> excuse me, you lose the slider. Kind of like on a base color, you lose the ability to change the color. So whatever you plug in here, it takes over. Okay, so that would be add converter color ramp. I'm gonna put it here, and if I just let go along where the noodle is or the line is, it automatically connects it. Okay, let's give a priority on our thing here so you can see it better. Okay, there it is, and we're not seeing the variation of. The uh, color ramp, I mean the roughness, because it's pretty much kind of just scattered in here. It's not as significant as the, uh, as the brick, but I'm going to move this one a little bit here. Then we're going to play with our, okay, I'm going to play with the black right here. That way we can see uh, that we can kind of get certain parts that are going to be shiny versus not so shiny. All right, there you go. I'm going to go like so. so. As you can see here, only certain parts. Actually, the, the uh, darker tone right here is giving it shininess. And as you can see here, there's no shininess. So you got to play with this, you know, scrub it until you're happy with that kind of variation. It'll be more obvious once we add the, uh, the normal map. Okay, so the normal map is the one that gives it that imperfection and basically... Uh, surface texture. Normal map goes here. And obviously we can't connect yellow to purple. Uh, we need another middleman right here. 
uh, we're going to change this one also to a non-color because only the color main one can get an sRGB right there. So I'm going to go to add vector normal map. Okay, add vector normal map. We plug color to color, normal to normal. All right, there we go. So you see that texture kind of pattern right there, and then the strength. You can of course make it uh, too crazy. What a point nine actually. Okay, so there it is. Applied uh, a uh, so it doesn't look like it's just kind of yeah, we'll make it a little bit more obvious here. Right there, maybe crank this up a bit. All right, so it looks like we modeled some texture. Uh, I mean, uh, separate plank support. All right. Next, we're going to add uh, our uh, um, tiling. Okay, but I'll end the video here. That I'm going to make a separate video for that.